This is Hooked Up. Michael Jordan or LeBron James? That's a tough one, but I'm going to go with my hometown guy, and I'm going to go with Michael Jordan. He's from North Carolina, played at the University of North Carolina, probably the greatest to ever play the game, but LeBron didn't fall off his heels, so, but I'm going to go with Michael Jordan. So I got to ask you, obviously in sports there are nervous moments. Your first game playing in the NBA, probably nervous as hell. But getting up and singing the national anthem, how nervous were you doing that? The very first time I right. did it, I was extremely nervous. I mean, I think I was uh, in a full sweat. I couldn't even watch it. I, w I was still nervous. I started sweating in bed watching myself on TV. My wife was like, she just wiped my head like, what are you doing? Why? Are you? So everybody told me I did a good job, but I'm right. still thinking that I might mess it up after I did it. But became easier and easier as I as I did it a few times and you know every time I did it we won. Oh, okay. And so that was my so kind who, of my who reason. Put you, who put you up to that? The PR. Oh, really? Know? Yeah, the PR <laughs> people. Be careful Jerry, don't hook a car up there. No. It landed at yours though. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow, look at that. It's supposed to say hooked up. Hey, hooked man. up. Hey. Nice and easy. There nice you and go. easy. Just like that. Nice and easy. I guarantee they're just scattered all out here. Doubles. 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 The dolphin's trying to get him. Look at him. Look at him. There he's right here. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He got his mouth. Check it out. Oh, you oh. missed it. That was great. We should have came to the bridge from the, in the beginning. Day started out a little slow. It was windy, so we couldn't go out into the Gulf. But we got some snook early on. And then we went back to the backcountry a little bit and, and hooked a pretty big lemon shark. And then came back out and got a bunch of jacks. So it was a good day. Jerry was a blast to fish with. But uh, also, just, we had a great conversation. You know, just one of those days where you meet someone you never met before, great conversation, some good fishing, and uh, we had a great time. Tofu or T-bone? T-bone. Definitely T-bone. Give me meat and potatoes all day. I tried to go vegan for a little while, lasted about three, four weeks. So definitely a T-bone. <laughs> well, you know, we can't keep the snook because it's game fish, but uh, so they made some grouper for us. Uh, look, they call it a grouper in a bag. It's, little, it's pretty good. Out. I know you're involved in, a, in your foundation. You do some work with diabetes. Tell me about that. Why diabetes? Why'd you start that? I lost two sisters from diabetes. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, in their early 40s. Oh, wow. And um, my mom and dad both live with diabetes today. So I wanted to do something, you know, kind of start a foundation, kind of have a passion because that was, you know, near and dear to my heart. I mean, something to remember my sisters and as well as kind of create awareness because I, I don't feel like I'm completely out of the woods mm -hmm. myself because I have it in my you know, right. history of it. Well, Jerry, listen, that was a real pleasure fishing with you. Pleasure, man. You. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm going to take you up on your offer. I'm going to go check out a game. If I'm not playing, we'll be sitting courtside at the Smith Center. That for sounds sure. good. That's it. Hopefully it's against Duke. We'll beat, beat these Duke. Oh, it's definitely got to be a Duke game for sure. So, cheers. Cheers. Hey, I'm Tom Colicchio here at the Chesapeake Bay with my good friend Josh Charles, Homer. <laughs> Don't miss any of my adventures on Hooked Up. Hit the subscribe button.